Hi, and um, have something fairly exciting to show you today. Well, exciting for me anyway. Um, not just my uh, Spider Pro UK PK. As lovely as it is, there are plenty of reviews on YouTube already giving you uh, plenty of information about this UK legal carry knife. The requirements for a UK carry knife are that it needs to have a cutting length blade of less than three inches long and it must not lock. So it's a non-locking blade. So this is perfectly legal to carry and use in the UK. And it's a very handy tool, especially if you spend a lot of time in the outdoors or doing uh, practical things. And you, you need to be able to carry a blade. Um, <clears throat> but what I do have to show you today is this lovely box that's come from Germany. Now this box has come from the lovely gentleman at Custom Scales Division. And other than a nice little packet of Harry Bow, I have a rather exciting paper Ziploc bag. And uh, I love the way that these, uh, these scales come kind of vacuum packed or vacuum sealed in these bags. Got it open without ripping it. And inside, I have, oh, as well as some uh, some little washers, Not got anything out of there. <clears throat> I have these. Now these are aircraft grade carbon fiber scales fit the UKPK. So these are custom made scales as a replacement for the um, glass reinforced nylon um, or GRN as Spideco call it um, scales. Now there's nothing wrong with these scales there they're great they're nice and light they grip well uh, but they are um, well, they're the plastic at the end of the day. And there's nothing wrong with that, especially for a utility knife like this. However, um, if you like to customize your knives or just have something a little bit special, then, uh, then these carbon fiber scales are absolutely beautiful. And I'm very excited to fit these onto the knife. And uh, so I'll get this mounted onto the knife and uh, show you what it looks like. I thought that perhaps you might like me to show you how to install these scales. So uh, I thought I'd do a little video. <clears throat> the screws used are hex screws. So lovely, really quite high quality little torque screws. And there's three of them all on one side of the UK PK. Now they're quite tight to undo because each of them has a little bit of thread lock on them. Now because this is a new knife I'm going to leave the thread lock as it is. I'm not going to put any more thread lock on because I think there's probably enough on there that will do a good enough job holding the new scales on. It's certainly going to fit the scales first and maybe <clears throat> re-thread lock afterwards. So once you've removed those three screws and removed the pocket clip, you literally just pull the scales off. Sorry, a little bit difficult to do, especially with my dodgy thumb. <clears throat> and you can see the working mechanism inside. So it's quite a simple mechanism on the UKPK. Uh, they call this the kind of the tuning fork spring which uh, said, there's a small detent there in the, the back of the blade so that, that open, allows the, uh, the blade to open at a 90 degree angle without flopping around. You can give it a wiggle and it doesn't fall close on your fingers. And then pops up to the, the fully open position. Now that is not a lock, that doesn't lock. It's just a detent to stop the blade from, from closing loose on your fingers. So it's just a safety feature. It is not a lock, so it is perfectly UK legal. So remove the, the blade the back spring and the little screw backs and the bit has already fallen out. 
Now, as you can see on the UKPK, there's a little flat, a little flat side to each of the holes. Now, this is to help you align these screw backs. So they'll only go in one way, and that stops them from turning when you're when you're screwing the um, uh, screwing the knife back together. However, and unfortunately, that's not the case on the custom scales division scales they are just round holes so it takes it's a little bit more fiddly to fit right the first thing we need to do is pop the back spring on the new scale now the guys at custom scale division have provided these little they're quite slippery they feel like teflon washers now these are to replace the slightly raised built-in washer that's on the back of the glass reinforced nylon scales that Spyderco provide. So they simply slide in and uh, will go on top of um, and screw back. So it's quite fiddly to pop these in. So then this should be absolutely fine. Yeah, that's one. The blade is a little bit fiddly to put on because obviously that spring's creating some tension. Right, I've just discovered that it's easier to pop the the blade on in the closed position. It's just a little bit easier than uh, than with the knife open. Now I've seen other people fit fit them with the blade open, but it's far easier and actually safer to fit it with the, in the, with the blade in the closed position. There's far less tension on the spring on the back spring here. It actually makes it quite simple. Everything should just clip in, nice and snug. Now with these scales, I also have this, which is a little, they call it a, a moon glow liner or backspacer. And uh, on the current UKPK, the back spring only comes kind of two thirds of the way along the, uh, the length of the scales. So this just fills in that gap to stop dirt and things getting in there, but also it glows in the dark, so when you're out and about and put your knife down on the ground and you're not, you might not necessarily see where it is, this will just glow slightly to make it a little bit easier to spot. Spyderco, I'm oh, sorry, Custom Scales Divisions also provide this little carbon fiber spacer if I decide I don't want to use the little glow spacer as well. So quite handy really, but I'm going to install it for now and see how it looks. Right, so that's one side all done. So all you need to do now is put these little Teflon washers oops, on this side of the blade. And install the other scale. And there's a little little hole here that this pin on the, the new scale fits into so it's important to get that lined up properly otherwise it's not going to fit once you have the scales all lined up and clipped together it's simply a case of screwing it back together we'll start with the 
pocket clip. That literally just pops back into the side of the scale that I did originally. I'll just do everything kind of finger tight initially. Make sure everything's all lined up. And because these scales are carbon fiber, you don't want to over tighten. So even though there's probably sufficient thread lock on these threads already, it's blue thread lock, so it should be okay. Um, you don't want to over tighten, so thread lock's a great idea. Now I'm just going to see how I get on with these. If I feel like I need to clean the threads and put some new thread lock on, then I will do. But um, like I said, because they're carbon fiber, you don't want to over tighten the threads, the screws, because you don't want to crack the carbon fiber at all, even though this is aircraft grade and very, very strong. Now one thing I've noticed is even though these holes are round and don't have the little flat spot, to stop this screw back from spinning. At the moment, they're not spinning at all. So I'm able to get these actually quite tight. Brilliant. So there we have it. Some Cascadi or custom scales division, carbon fiber scales, and a moon glow backspacer fitted onto my UK BK. And I must say, it's very lovely. Now that I have the pocket clip seated correctly, everything's really, really nice. Um, basically, the tolerances on these scales from the factory um, are really tight, so the, uh, the spring clip just needed a bit of a wiggle to get it sat in properly and then screwed down nice and snug just so that uh, it would sit flush as it should do against the scale. Um, but yeah, it's great. And um, the scales just really feel really nice in the hand. They're so tactile, these aircraft grade carbon scales. But, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with the standard FRN scales. Um, obviously, FRN is not quite as nice as G10. G10, again, is a little bit more tactile and has slightly better grip. Feels a little bit more sturdy and solid in the hand. But then, again, these, these carbon scales are a step up again. Um, they're, just, they're just beautiful, absolutely stunning. Uh, great work from the guys at uh, Cascadi. Um, centering, absolutely bob on. Um, got no, no issues there at all. Um, really really great workmanship and they just well for me it just turns a, a great knife into something a little bit special and um, feel quite proud to own these actually actually um, I'll put I'll put some links down to uh, Cascadi in the description below and uh, if any of you have any questions feel free to comment and I uh, hope you found it a little bit helpful